Welcome to a very quick edition of Cooper's Commentaries. This is episode 8. Today we're going to be talking about many different things, but in the basics of it, it's going to be um, a follow-up to Command and, uh, Fight Command and 101. This is going to be um, a little bit more advanced and a, a little bit more um, in detail of how to how to do fights. So if you haven't seen Command and uh, 101 go back and watch that that's episode 7 of my commentaries this is episode 8 and it follows up from that let's get going so in this episode I'm going to talk about um, baiting AOEs, a kite and spike a very basic push which is um, very strong in my opinion this this way of pushing um, to, we're going to talk about empowers we're going to talk about um, terrain where you want to fight we're going to talk about um, a slow push, how to do a slow push, what is a slow push uh, we're going to talk about force and enemy movements where you, you want to try and push the enemy group into a position where you want them to be um, and you can do you can force that movement by the way that you move and the way that you drop your damage we're going to talk about circle strafing which is going around AOEs and, and standing on the edge of uh, red circles circling around it to get round the damage into the enemy um, obviously to take less damage than you, than you need to so that is that is going to be today's episode. I may may add some other things in as well when I think about them, but that's the basics of what we're going to talk about today. So let's get going. So this first clip just shows us pushing onto the left side of a group. All the AOEs on the left hand side, so we just push around the right hand side. There's a little push. Find the gap where there's no AOE on the floor, and then run through it. And that's what we just did there. So if I go back, you can see we hit the left hand side lots of AOEs on the left so we pull off to the right hand side going along the wall where it's clean ground zero AOE on the floor there taking no damage at all and managing to get into the group so that is um, a very basic push right there basically running around the AOE to get into the enemy group is what we just did there so this next clip shows um, a melee and caster two frontal attack so you're hitting two sides of the of the zerg in front of you so you can see your outside stone mist here i do this with my um, green arrow is where i call for the range to drop their damage that's where the well spike is going to be and then the melee train will swing in from the left and get all those finish off all those kills i use the terrain as a line of sight to their casters so if i'm on the high ground their casters can't see me here so it's a safe regroup point to do an empower um, so now we're just cleaning up all the kills that we get now so they push forward to try and res on the left we just spike it hard and get them killed they're backing away towards their keep so it's safe for an empower regroup I've got loads of time there's no pressure on me at all look on the floor there's barely any AOEs so it's a super safe regroup there um, so a strong empower time in there so now we push around the right hand side green is always where the caster damage is going to be <coughs> Um, so yeah, so they back away. I keep switching where the green arrow is going to be because that's where the caster damage is going to be. There's a safe um, terrain position on the top right there for our casters to go up. So I call out in team speak for them to go up there. So they free caster now on the right. Again, lots of damage on the green from our casters. Melee go in to finish off. We're slowly pushing them back to the keep down the hill. Now we do a, um, a crossover over the AOE. So they're all dropping their damage on the left hand side. We cross over to the right through the green. Um, no AOEs on the floor, look on the floor, it's completely clear of AOEs so again, go round to the AOEs on every push that you can do so the main thing to take away from that fight there is a push from the ranged and the melee on two different fronts the green arrow is where the well spike goes so melee you push around one side, casters and uh, necro marks uh, necro wells hit one side and then you push over the downs that you get with the wells with the melee and if they back off for a regroup, which they have done in this clip, you can go for a safe regroup. I get a super safe regroup because I have the high ground and I can line of sight enemy casters so they can't drop their AOEs onto our regroup point. So this next clip is um, showing you a bit of an empower war between the two groups. I try and um, empower after the other group, but close enough to um, push into it with our empower might stacks on us. So they empower, I back away. They back away, so I push back to them. I try and get them and empower some. They do the empower war with me, so they back away when I've empowered. So it's a back, back into, back into. Um, our might stacks are fairly high still, so I manage. I just push straight to them now. They get a golden power timing off better than ours. Our might stacks will slowly start to drop off around now, so I 
push around the right, open my left flank for a back spike now, so the melee train comes in behind us, the well spike goes down on their melee train as they come in. We circle straight around the right hand side, around their AOE and wells, and we go straight into their big blob, into their big stack. Uh, we take focus damage on the down, we pull off for a clean regroup, absolutely clean. They've gone for a regroup, so it's safe to do a regroup. If they were to push on us, that would be a bad regroup, but they went for a regroup themselves, so we went to it for a regroup as well. I'll now push the left hand side, expecting the, the melee to swing around the right, which is what they do. So I just switch right, and then we spike the front of their melee. Makes them back away, uh, makes their push end, so they have to back away for another regroup. We've taken very few damage now, so it's just we're just training them down now so from that fight what I want you to take away is um, open up one of your flanks for a, 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 their melee push we did it twice in this fight we opened the left flank at the beginning um, and did a back spike on their first push and we did it at the uh, towards the end of the fight as well um, we opened up our right flank and they pushed on the right and we did a back spike on that melee train then and also at the start of the fight, um, the empower war between the two groups, you want to try and empower second, never try to empower first, unless you're confident in your ability to just kill them very fast. Um, you want to try and empower second, so you want to get them to empower, you back away to try and make them waste their might stacks, waste their empowers, and then you empower much stronger. Um, we had a bit of an empower war between the two groups, they managed to get their empower as the better, they won the empower war. Um, but I, I was confident in our back spike to, to be able to wipe them um, but also circle strafe on your pushes and things as well so when you do a back spike you spike it and you get out of it fast every time there's a big spike which is a kill zone every time there's an AOE spike down you want to go on the outside edges of the AOEs and attack into the AOEs so you're standing on the outside of the red circles attacking the center of the red circles if that makes sense um, so you want to try and roll to the outside edge of the rings and attack on the inside of the rings. Once you're confident that you're taking very little damage, um, there's actually not that much damage in the group, um, you can then stand in the red circles. But before that point, say for example an enemy's well spike, you want to stand on the outside edge and attack inside the well, inside their well spike, um, where their melee train is, because that is where they're going to stand still. And most enemy groups will stand still inside their well spikes, and that's where you kill them inside their own well spike. You stand on the outside, attacking inside, and you'll kill them. Right, so this next clip is just a chitin spike. I just want you to show you the strength of a chitin spike. So obviously the group's coming from the sentry point. Um, I just gather our group together, push on the right hand side, just some range pressure, just to bait out some AOEs from the enemy group, like a fake push if you like. So we drop some damage because I haven't empowered yet. Now I empower, so this is going to be our push. See them swinging around the left hand side. It's a massive, massive zay because it's EB, so I don't want to push deep. So it's a kite and spike this. We kite out of it. That, that was the spike down already on the green. Kite out of it. Wait three seconds for all the AoEs to clear. And then we push back in and look at all those kills we get from a kite and spike. So um, that is the strength of a kite and spike is just... Um, accept the melee push and just walk backwards or roll backwards away from them and drop your damage in front for them to run over. Wait three seconds because that that when you drop your damage like that, that stops their push because they're they're taking so much damage they have to stop and turn around to go back and heal. Um, so when they do that, when you when you've counted to three as you're rolling out, you then go back in because all their red circles, all their wells and AOEs would have cleared by then because most AOE circles are five seconds. So after those five seconds, you go back in and you, you clean up all the down to try and kill them before they get banners or rallies. Um, and also you'll get rallies in your group. So that is just a kite and spike. And most of the time you'll want to use it against a bigger group than yours or a huge group where if you stand in any kind of, any kind of kill zone, you're just going to die like they did. Um, so you don't want to stand in it, so you try and stay on the front edge where there's um, empty space at the back of your group so you can retreat back easily. You don't want to be surrounded at all in World v. World. If you get surrounded, you'll get killed. So you want to try and stay on the front edge, drop your damage in front, let them run over it, watch them die, wait, wait three seconds, go back in, finish the downed, and that's a massive chunk of their group dead. You can then follow up onto uh, their they regroup or go for a regroup yourself and then push and carry on the fight but you've taken out a massive chunk of players. So this next fight is just talking about um, a switch push, uh, clean regroups and line of sight and casters using the terrain to your advantage. So we kite left, kite and spike, wells in front, 
there's all the downed, wait three seconds or just go in straight away, which is what we can do. So we finished all the kills. They're stacking on the left hand corner, so I want to push to the left hand corner, looking on the floor. There's not many AoEs on the left, look empty ground on the left, push into them, circle straight from around the left. They were back spike on the melee now, turn around to go for a back spike. So we're spiking their melee train now in front. We spike it. We need to go for a regroup now because we've taken a lot of damage. They go for a regroup down the stairs, so it's safe to go for a regroup. Clean regroup, clean ground under no pressure. Line of sighting casters down the stairs. They can't see us when they're down that hill. They come in uh, pushing up, so we do another back spike. We just turn around, follow the melee train wherever they go. So we get off that blue portal because that's a kill zone. Most most zergs will, will spike on the portal when you try and get back inside your keep. So you don't go inside the portal, you get off it. Again, line of sight there, casters. Safe regroup, no AOEs on the floor. Take our time. There's no rush. Um, so they're now moving around the left. So push around the left-hand side. Keep the range pressure into them. Keep herding the group down those stairs to line of sight their casters. If their casters cannot see you, they are not part of the fight because they're dropping no damage. They may as well not be there. If you can't drop your damage, you're not part of the fight, you're not part of the Zerg, you're not there. Um, only when you're dropping damage are you actually part of the fight, or if you're absorbing damage in the you know, in the melee train are you part of the fight. If you're doing nothing by just staring at a group because you can't actually drop any damage, you're not part of the fight. So in effect, by using the terrain of the, um, of the staircase where they go below, they've effectively taken out their ranged from this fight. Um, or a good chunk of their ranged damage from the fight because we can we can kite round it. We, what I'm trying to do this fight is herd them down the stairs, keep them down the staircase to try and line of sight their casters as much as possible. So if you can see, whenever they try and push up one side, I push to it to try and scare their casters to stay below. I do back spikes on the melee train that actually come up the stairs to try and keep the top of the staircase clear. Um, and every time they try and push up the stairs, that's where I'm pushing to try and keep them down the staircase. Um, it gives us for nice clean regroups where there's empty space, we can take our time. I do a regroup there for about five seconds um, because we're under no, no pressure at all and they, they come up the left hand side. So again, we just push them back down the staircase, totally negating their ranged players from the fight. Um, and they, they have nothing left to do than, than to uh, you know get out of the keep because they're losing too many players. Um, so we won that fight mo mostly through um, line of sight in the enemy casters down the stairs and getting safe regroups because those casters were line of sighted and they couldn't drop their damage. So this next fight I want to talk about is forcing the enemy's movement, um, trying to like I was in the last clip, herding the enemy group down the stairs. This this time I want to try and head the group against these cliffs at the back. That's where I want to try and push them against and give them no retreat. So what we do is we, we, we obviously see this group. We push around the right hand side to try and block their escape up that ramp towards Stomist on the right hand side of me right now. So we try and keep them in this bit around this tree. We use this tree to hide our switch from our push. So we go from the right hand side to the left hand side. They push to the trees, so I call out on team speak to push the trees. I can see that they're trying to swing round to the SM ramp. So again circle straight from around the right, go around all the AoEs, go on the right hand side of them to try and block that ramp so they can't go up it. Make sure you block that ramp. Do a quick regroup safe regroup because they pulled away. Look at all the down in front of us because they've been crushed against that wall. So we just choo choo over the over the uh, down the cliffs over the down. We roll left to get out the AoEs again circle strafing, always circle strafing around AoEs um, and, and that's that's the fight won because they were crushed against that wall, they had no retreat, they had nowhere to go and we just went around the AoEs, they dropped the AoEs on top of themselves and we circle strafed around it both times both times um, around the right when they pushed to do a back spike and, and then and when we finish them off, crushing them against the wall over the down players, we just run over them and then and then r roll out left to get out of their AoEs that they drop. It's completely cre clean ground around those trees. Um, so that was forcing the enemy movement. We forced them against those cliffs. We gave them no retreat and uh, we won obviously because they had nowhere to go. So this next clip I want to talk about is just being super aggressive and pushing regroups and circle strafing. Um, in a smaller group so they they stealth in we get a very very strong empower time and this is almost perfection in, in empower time and our power and just finishes as they reach us so we roll out right circle straight from around the right around their aoe's keeps our melee train tight we switch out left circle straight from around the left now and then we go for a self spike so this is the spike down now we managed to take one out there 
We've taken very little damage because of the circle strafing and they've gone for a regroup. This is a poor regroup from them. They shouldn't do this because we haven't gone for a regroup. We do an aggressive empower because we don't need to regroup. They go for a second regroup and we don't need to regroup. So we push their regroup once again. So, so far we've managed to uh, avoid damage and do aggressive empowers to top our healing uh, health pool up. And they've gone for, th this is their third regroup now that we're pushing on. And that is why they wipe because they've tried to go for regroups um, when we're still pushing. Um, so the, uh, what, you want is, what I want you to take away from that there is um, the strength of circle strafing to avoid damage, um, aggressive empowers to just top your health off, to top your health off with your group, and um, the negative effects of trying to go for regroups whilst the enemy group is still pushing on you. You cannot go for regroups when the enemy group is still pushing on you. You have to do moving waters. If you don't know, if you don't know what moving waters are, you can go back to the fight command in 101 and just have a quick look on that one because I talk about it there um, yeah so that's what one is this fight is we pushed the enemy's regroup three times um, so that this is just showing you what it's like to play um, very aggressive this is this, this is me playing super aggressive I don't normally play like this but um, when it's a bit more even uh, I will play like this I just like to I like to draw the fights out so they last a bit longer than um, than being playing like this and, and wiping groups super fast. Okay, so this last clip encompasses um, a few of the things I've already talked about, so I just want to go over this fight as a whole. So, obviously, a group coming from Spelden Camp from the north of us, so we gather everyone together. Um, we're all spread out now because there's a little group towards the water's edge there behind me. I see this veil on the left, so I push towards it, so we back away to try and bait out some AoEs, so there's a bit of a bait from AoEs. Um, see them pushing around the right hand side so get ready to well spike it again green is where the well spike goes down so we circle straight around the right out of the damage get out of that kill zone get a few kills at the back there but we can't push to it because there's a huge obviously huge zerg in front of us so we back away now go for a regroup enemies gone for a regroup as well they're still recovering so this is a safe regroup because we're not getting pushed on unlike the last clip see them coming around the left and the right hand side so we push the left group on the right so we push to the right hand group try and take them out fast the, the ones that overextend on the right hand side I just want to try and tap them back into the into their main group to keep to keep their group stack tight so now we go for a quick waters blast I don't know what the uh, what the enemy groups doing but they're not pushing whatever they're doing so we just finished the downs on the right hand side so what we're doing now is ranged hitting one side melee hitting the other side so ranged will be hitting the green now melee will be swinging around the right so as you can see they swing around the left onto our casters, so our melee train swings around left to try and protect our casters. They now switch and go right, so we switch and go right. This is our next well spike coming up. That's the well spike going down now, so again, circle strafing around it, go around the right hand side, around the AoEs, taking no damage now. So we swing left because there's a few players on the left hand side, we go for a quick regroup. Enemy's gone for a quick regroup as well, so this is again a safe regroup because we're under very little pressure. Um, little small group on the left hand side, easy push there don't know what they're standing there for they've completely forgot, uh, completely ignored their commander's position in there their commander's pushed to the water's edge so they've they're now retreating in my eyes so I'm pushing I'm going aggressive now so again it's a big zig so it's, and it's EV so you don't want to push deep you just want to push to the front edge we switch left going around the AOE circle shape around the left get out the AOEs easy click a uh, quick regroup now under zero pressure lots of down in front that's the fight over now it's just a case of cleaning them up because they're already running so now we just just push as hard as you can now, just finish them off. I get CC'd so it slows the push, but they'll start r jumping off the cliff now rather than giving us some score by killing them. So that's the fight over. So what, what I want you to take away from that fight is um, the ranged and melee hitting both sides. Once again, a strong self spike with the wells and a circle strafing around it and also um, getting the, the regroup timings right where they pulled off for a regroup or they're not pushed we're not but getting pushed on and we go for safe and powers every single regroup during that fight was a safe regroup because we weren't getting pushed on rather than the last clip when we were pushing the enemy groups regroups um, and that's why they wiped we had safe regroups so this last clip is just showing you what a, sh a slow push is, and it's mainly used against um, again in choke points, in long elongated choke points, so tunnels, um, on the tops of walls like this uh, clip is. So as you can see, JT are on the top of the wall now. We do a slow push. So as what a slow push is, you you push to the front of their group, you range them for a bit, you wait for the AOE to clear, and then you take another step. 
you wait for the AoE to clear, you drop damage in front, you take another step. So it's a very slow push, rather than charging at them, where you can get kite and spiked, because that's the counter to a push along a wall, is to walk backwards and drop damage in front of yourself. To actually be able to push along a wall, you want to do a slow push, which is you run forward. So in this clip you can see, we run forwards, we push out to the right hand side where there's no AoE, trying to circle strafe wherever you can. So out on the finger is where you can circle strafe around AoEs. So we do go to one finger, push to the next finger, I happen to go down, a lot of kills around me so um, I'm commanding from the floor right now so I tell my group to push to push into them and then tell them to come back to me and we go for an empower so that was a slow push then I'll go back again and show you again but that was um, that was a slow push and we've obviously wiped the group here and um, so if I go back so first thing we do is we um, push to the top of the stairs to try and bait out some AOEs so we don't go any further than the top of the stairs we're just trying to bait out some AOEs along the wall we, so that's why we pull back. We get a quick and power, and we go back up to the top of the stairs. Um, so this is our first push. So we're, we're pushing into into um, caster range now. So we drop an AOEs in front, waiting for the AOEs to clear. Then we go for the next push. Again, getting into range, into that caster range. Safe place to go. Circle straight around the AOEs is out on the finger. So that's where we go for a quick and power heal. Look at our squad UI. We're pretty much full still. Um, whereas they're all dying in front. Now we push out to the next finger because they've dropped a lot of AoEs. They should all be on cooldown. A lot of them should be on cooldown. So that's why we push to the next the next finger. We get a lot of kills doing it that way. Um, I happen to go down, so I have to command from the floor. So it's hard to see, but I just tell them to keep pushing. I tell them to come back now, so back on ourselves to finish all the kills behind us because we've got a lot of kills now. Um, most of the JTC has jumped out now, so we've pretty much won the fight. That's the end of the video. Quick little recap. Um, so what I talked about today, I won't go, because uh, it's quite a long video now, I won't go into the guns of it now, um, you can go back and watch it, but what we talked about here was um, baiting AoEs before a fight, the empower wars between the two groups, trying to get your empower second, um, uh, the basics of a kite and spike, so you know you drop your damage, you roll out of it, you circle strafe and round it, you go back in to finish the downed, um, a simple push, you have ranged hitting one side, melee hitting another side, and you switch sides, you melee train, you keep switching sides, left side, right side, left side, right side, going round AoEs, hitting the flanks um, of enemy groups, use the terrain to your advantage, the line of sighting of the casters, um, force and enemy movements with the terrain, so you want to hit one side of the group to try and force them into the opposite side that you push to, so you push to the right side, you're going to force the enemy group to go left. You can then bait that melee train into a push by opening a flank. If you push one side, open your flank on the opposite side, then do a turn around, back spike, kill the melee train in that kill zone, circle straight around it, follow up on their regroup, or go for a regroup yourself. Um, I sh quickly showed you what a, s a slow push was, which is on walls and elongated choke points, tunnels, things like that. You can also do it in open space as well. You can do a slow push if it's a pirate ship, for example. You can try a slow push. Um, I wouldn't advise that against a group that is full-on pirate ship, but if a commander s decides to do pirate ship for a little bit, you could do a slow push against him. A little thing to add is use your squad icons to, to indicate where you want to do things, so you want to drop damage or you want to move, things like that, where you want to stand, where you want to regroup. I just use one, I just use the green arrow because it's easy for me. I most of the time talk where I want to where I, where I want stuff to go, but um instead of having like a range tag, which is what a lot of groups do, they have a melee tag and a range tag. If you don't have a range tag then just use the, the squad icons to tell you tell them where you want your casters to do damage, which is what I was doing in this video. Um <coughs> Well, yeah, that's the video. I hope it helps. It is a follow-on from the first video. So again, if you've not seen Command Episode Seven, uh, which is Fight Command One Hundred and One, go back and watch that first to see what I'm talking about in these things in this video as well. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you command, and I'll see you later. Enjoy.